What's up folks, welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna to be trying our hand at the Galveston North Jetty. We got some big spoons, some big reels, got the kayak out. We got low winds, possibly some low swells, but we'll see what happens. The targeted fish is gonna be speckled trout and Spanish mackerel and anything else that wants to buy our spoon. So you guys stay tuned. Let's see if we can catch some fish today. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 boats. As far as I can see, we got the sun glare, so there can be actually more. So it's pretty crowded here today. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a weekend. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna use a, a shrimp lure first. See if we can get the fish a bite. Yeah, it's very dirty. Let's hit spot lock right now. And just, yeah, and just kind of work this drain away from these boats. Lots of bait underneath us, man. 20 feet down. 20 feet? Yeah. If you want to head out, I know a, another new marsh spot if you want to try that instead. We'll try it out for an hour or so and see how it works. Are you using a right now? No, just like a shrimp lure. Okay. I, I'm about to change to a spoon so I can get down faster. All right, let's try a spoon. This is a three-quarter ounce spoon. Let's see if we can get something to bite this. Good thing about a spoon, it's heavier, so it'll get down there really fast, 13 feet down. Lots of mullet right in front of us. They're not really getting blown up, though, by anything, so... I think a spoon would be a better choice of bait. Considering there's a lot of mullet here. All right, second spot. Oh man, the things I do to fish. Whoa, you gotta be careful, man. Yeah, it's very slippery. All right, so um, we are heading to the spot, but as I'm going by, I see some bait being popped right here. It's one feet foot, and I, I'm pretty sure this is all mud. Let's let's just take a look here. I'm pretty sure one foot of mud. Oh yeah, it's mud. It's nice mud. So I'm pretty, I have a feeling there could be some flounder up on this grass line. So we're going to kind of fish it. I'm going to use the, I'm going to try the flats bug first. Let's see if we can get something to bite. Let's slow down here. And having the light right line really helps with your cast. It really does, it man. also lets that lure sink. Yeah, water is it's clear, dude. Okay, here's some mullet right here. We've ended up finally in the marsh. Just started really. The water's pretty clear. It's pretty shallow. I have not fished here before, so I really don't know what to expect, but hopefully we'll catch into something. We'll see though. Oh, that's a red right there. Oh, that's a red fish right here. Oh, why'd you spook, bro? Dang, that was a red right there. Totally missed him. There's some movement right over here. Shrimp jumping. There we go. We got him. I think he's going to be a smaller guy. No, he's going to be a bigger guy. Saw that movement right there. Oh, right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> so accurate, man. Right on the spot. Yeah, he's going to be a donkey. This guy's going to be a donkey. Let's go and turn the motor off and release the engine so we don't get him tangled up with our line all right dude so happy so happy i made a decision to change spots all right i gotta be careful there's a lot of oyster there i can completely cut my line off yeah he's gonna be a nice big donkey big big donkey 
Come on in here, buddy. You're done. You're done. Wow. <laughs> Come on in here, fella. Gotcha. Look at that redfish, man. That's what I'm talking about. Right here. I don't know if you guys can see the oyster. He was chilling with the oyster. Saw some shrimp popping through right at him. Smack. Got him. All right, ladies and gentlemen. New spot paying off. And we got a retarded looking redfish. Look at that hump. He's like he had a second tail trying to grow or something. But got him on the flats bug as usual. Flats bug continuing to work. <laughs> Beautiful fish there, man. Let's let him go. You know, honestly, I would keep this fella here, but he's got that jacked up looking freaking tail. So he's a little mutated and this area is Galveston. So it's known to have um, some chemicals in the water. But uh, yeah, that's that's crazy. There you go, fella. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, first fish down. I thought it was going to be a long skunk day from the earlier part of the jetty, but we got our first red. Let's see if we can catch one more and call it a day. right here it's a good area to target to look like a big mullet right there just swim by you never know could be hiding in these oyster maybe flounder in that mud you now let's put some stank on this shrimp shrimp stank on the shrimp so we'll put it like right in this slot right here just like that just a little bit here on the out make it look like a tiger shrimp <laughs> there yeah, just give it us give us that advantage. There we go. There we go. That's a fish. A small little red. I don't think that's what I saw though. No, it's a croaker. <laughs> that's not what I saw. I saw something bigger. I swear I saw something bigger. Thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, that's a red. That's a red right there. Got him. Got him. Yep, told you. That's a red. Saw him. Oh, he got that shrimp in the shrimp lure. He's gonna be close to Donkey, but uh nonetheless was able to side cast him. <laughs> Man, the water is so clean. Yeah, he's gonna be donkey. A lower end donkey, but donkey nonetheless. Come on in here, fella. Yeah, he's gonna be probably right at 20. Dang, you got a lot of energy. Yes. There you go. We got him. We got him. All right, there you go, guys. Donkey number two on the new Skelly Shrimp from uh, designed by Lawson Lindsay. You know, the big YouTuber in Florida. Uh, really good saltwater angler. He designed these lures for Ketchco. So, yeah, that's pretty cool right there. He's probably right at 20, probably 20, maybe 21 inches. But we're gonna let him go, but that's a sight to behold. Side casted him in this water, man. It's freaking awesome. 20 and a half inch. Yeah, slot red. Appreciate that. Thank you. The water's so clear. I can see you. Get out of here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, this uh shrimp lure is doing pretty good. Was able to side cast that dude. Let's see if we can get one more. Have a limit of reds. After a hard day of fishing, starting off. I caught him right here at this drain. I saw him clear as day. There we go, another one. That's another red. Just blind casting at that. Um, oh, it's a flounder, nice. Right at that drain. That's a good, oh dang man, that was a keeper flounder. <laughs> Dang it, dude. There's one right there.
Yeah, that scared the hell out of him. Don't know where he went. He disappeared. <laughs> Oh my gosh, wow, that was a redfish. It's coming out of nowhere. I'm just like kind of like dozing off. Nice. Man, that's, oh my gosh, that's going to be a donkey. Oh my God, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast, man. I'm like, and it's like already 1 p.m. I'm just dozing, dozing off. don't even know what the heck's going on. And he just came and smoked it at my boat. I <laughs> love it, love it. Oh gosh, this guy is a puller. He's a puller. That's a donkey for sure, 100%. I think we might keep this guy too. I don't know yet, we'll see, we'll see. Oh my gosh. Dang, I love how redfish fight. They fight with so much passion. Yeah, he's a beautiful fish. All right, buddy, you're done. You're done, my friend, you're done. Come on, you're done. Hey, we don't want to scare the alligators, right? Or we don't want to put attention to ourselves to the alligators. Come on, buddy, you're done. He might be a little bit too big for my liking. Yeah, I think he might be too big. But he is done. Look at that red. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. And right there, folks, is a limited redfish. I am so fortunate to catch this last guy. I wanted one more red. I missed so many opportunities. And this dude is going to be a big one. He's going to be too big for me to keep. That's a donkey right there, guys. Look at that donkey. Dang, that's a donkey. <laughs> Look at that boy on the skelly swim, man. I cannot believe he... that This swim bait has so much movement. I mean, he was... I mean, I you guys got to tell. I actually really enjoy these skelly swim swim baits uh, by Salt Native, Catch Co. Uh, like I said, Lawson Lindsay is the one that designed it. Um, I was just swimming it straight retreat to my boat and I would say about a foot and a half from my boat You saw on the um, the GoPro. He just annihilated right when it was coming up to the surface Man, that's a proper redfish. All right, my friend. I do appreciate it Let's get you off this skelly swim. Damn, look at that. Get you in the water By bur by you brute strength you man you fight you fought so oh man. There you go. You're really ready to go <laughs> Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's a limited redfish. I can't believe this this day turned out the way it did. I mean, I was at the North Jetty hoping to get some uh, Spanish mackerel and some um, speckled trout. Just didn't happen. It was just a bad condition, too many boats. So we decided to come to a brand new marsh. I actually really wanted to try in the past, and I'm glad I did. Sycassid, two reds, caught a third lim uh, limit of reds. Also on top of that, using the Ketchco bugs. Uh, all in all, really good day of fishing. Very, very satisfied. Uh, I'm going to call it quits. Go home, relax, take it easy. Make sure you hit that like button. Give me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you're new to the channel or you're just watching some of my videos, give me a favor and just hit that subscribe button. Help the channel out. And um, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.